It is a huge loss to the campus, um, and we just know that Waco is behind our schools, and we're grateful. A month ago, teachers and staff at GW Carver Middle School lost everything after a fire destroyed the historic school and all that was inside. But a few acts of kindness later, most of what was lost is now being replaced. 25 News reporter Andrew Lamparski is in Waco tonight with the story. All of the um, educational materials you see on the walls, everything there has been donated to replace things that were lost. Paige Stanford lost everything she had in her classroom four weeks ago. But now she's in a new school, a new classroom, and with new supplies, thanks to some help. Even my kids today, they were like, Miss, do you see all this stuff? Did all of this come from people? And I'm like, all of this came from people. After the fire, Transformation Waco set up a disaster relief page with links to Carver teacher classroom uh. wish lists. Between individual and corporate donations, Transformation Waco says it now has enough money to clear all of the wish list items. I think the best thing about it is to be able to look at the teachers and say, you are not alone. The community feels your pain and the community is here to help you. Want more good news? Friday after school, Indian Spring and Carver teachers were able to pick up supplies from a cafeteria full of additional donations from Baylor and other donors. There's just so much stuff and uh, I'm so appreciative and it's beyond words sometimes what, you know, the, the things that we've been given. As they filled their bags, Indian Spring and Carver teachers celebrated the end of their first week as a combined campus. You know, go Panther Bulldogs. And also celebrated the generosity of strangers. It feels like family. I've only lived in the area for a year and it's where I'm going to make my home just from the reactions and the generosity of the community. While wish lists are being fulfilled and they get settled in, there are still plenty of things that staff members could use. We are constantly thinking, oh, I did this. Oh, nope. I don't have that anymore. But from signs to classroom libraries, water bottles and pencils, they certainly have a jump start on rebuilding their collections from scratch. For 25 News, Andrew Lamparski.